Apparently 343 has put out an update talking about the future updates for Halo Infinite. But this video, I'm not going to be talking about the entire update because to be real with you guys, I simply don't care for Halo Infinite anymore, or at least right now. But what got my attention was that uh, 343 mentioned that they will be upgrading or not upgrading, but changing the progression system and the XP system. And the biggest one, the networking issues that have been plaguing this game since launch. And it's kind of baffling to think that, you know, 343 has spent six years developing the game. And then they had the flight test in July of 2021. And then to have the game release in this state is just crazy to think about. But yeah, they did acknowledge that this was an issue a while back. I think this was around... I can't remember which day it was, but I think it was around March or April of this year, 2022. Again, I can't remember which day it was. But 343 did acknowledge that it was an issue and they are looking for a fix. But ever since then, they have been completely silent about it whenever they talk about an update regarding Halo Infinite. That is until today that they acknowledge that they will be fixing this issue in a future update. But let's not forget that 343 has missed numerous deadlines already at this point. And for me, I'd rather stay optimistic, not expect much from 343. I mean, they did say in the update here, uh, let me try to pull this up here. In the next few months, we'll be releasing balancing updates, mouse and keyboard input improvements, and bug fixes for networking issues faster than we have been previously. So this means that it's not gonna be part of the winter update, but rather, they will start to correct these issues after the winter update, if that's my correct understanding. And then they talked about improvements to the XP system and progression system. Sadly, there is no career-based progression system, but it seems like they are working on that. But uh, yeah, overall, I mean, these changes are good for the game, and I really hope 343 will continue to make updates like these that align with the player feedback. And that's all I really have to say. I don't really have much input regarding the update. Like I said, I really haven't been paying attention to the game or the updates. And like I said, I'd rather keep my expectations low and simply wait for the results. If 343 can deliver, cool. If not, okay, move on. And instead of me just talking negative about Halo Infinite and 343 and how incompetent they are, it's better that I just play different games or do something more better than just having to wait on 343 to do something. But yeah, that's all I have to really say about that. And, um, you know, like I said, just enjoy whatever games out there. Have an open mind, try different things, and you'll probably be happy. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.